That's a big, big piece of meat. Oh, you want? <laughs> you want some of this? <laughs> you want some of this? Oh, yeah? Okay. Mama's gonna chop it up. Guess what? It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time in the city. Miles Davis that stepped on the laptop. It was me. <laughs> Buddy, what the, what the? I haven't really shown you guys the house. I told you what's really kind of going on. Basically, this house is like my rehab house for the year. I'm trying all kinds of weird things. I gave it a, a solid effort trying to take care of my health on the road. Unfortunately, buying a juicer and renting a hotel room and extended stay for a summer wasn't quite enough. So, got the house. Got a project so that instead of at nighttime needing to drink to go to sleep just to get out of my own head, um, you know, when I find myself just overanalyzing things and just, you know, the brain just doesn't shut off, right? Um, I just immediately go back to the project. So instead of thinking about life and what I should be doing with my life and am I, am I on the right path, I'll be like, I wonder how I can get, you know, install a toilet in the, in the Bronco and have the poop go into a chute underneath the Bronco next to the fuel pump so you can open up, like have a drawer, the herb comes out with a bag and you can just tie the bag, right? And then throw that in the trash can while you're pumping gas. I spent about a week um, trying to understand the concept of just like how a pop-up works so that I can fabricate like, you know, by the shocks and like how, where the little latches need to be. And I highly recommend anyone that's trying to just live a new type of lifestyle, not have to drink all the time or take sleeping pills, whatever it is, you know deal with your insomnia or depression anxiety overthinking get a project works wonders <laughs> that's a lot of space we could at least we could probably get away with this might screw us up a little bit when it comes to mud but i'm gonna start cutting
chisel it out. I caught myself. I was building out this Bronco almost identical to my other one, besides the pot, you know, when it came to the floors. And I wasn't doing some of the things that I've been wanting to do on a Bronco because I wanted to just suddenly like finish. Who the hell hung a chime? That sounds like it's in my yard. It's probably that neighbor that hates me. She just keeps calling the cops on me because she hates my dog. Who hung a chime? Quick, we gotta not we gotta not talk too much, Miles Davis. The lighting sucks. We gotta get better at these things. Whoa! So I caught myself, caught myself kind of like half-assed in this project. Like, oh, I'll just whip it out real quick. And I was doing what I knew how to do. Molly put it. Greatly put. Molly, thank you. Caught myself. Went ahead. I saw a comment, one of you. Sorry, I don't remember your name. You were like, are you gonna modify the wheel wells? I'm like, hello. And it just kind of reminded me there was a lot of things, you know, that I wanted to do. Basically, I had 18 months living in this Bronco, staring at it and thinking of all the things that I would do if I had the chance to do that. So since I decided to build out a shop and start a project, I was like, I got to get this at least one project out of my brain. We got to execute it. So, okay, hop down, lover. I love you. Put your paws, make lots of noise for the video. Love you. Good boy toilet it is going to drop down into a poop chute that's going to open up into a bag basically i'm going to do a bagging system i'll show you guys but right next to the fuel pump so that when you're pumping gas you can also just get rid of your poop chute <laughs> we're going to have water there's going to be a beautiful shower here um that will you'll be able to stand even when the roof is all the way down yes the roof down because it's going to be a pop top in all four corners so you can be six foot three and stand in this bronco but if the roof is down you can now stand and take a shower it will drop all the way underneath the um not below the drive shaft though so we still have a lot of clearance but you can stand here take a shower or when it's a pop top you can um stand in this area and take a shower or sit You'll be able to sit. Oopsie. So basically to make this whole area like a wet area where you can wash dishes, you can sit and take a shower, you can have all your products already in here, and the floor is going to come up. It'll just be a little secret compartment, and there's going to be some water tanks. You have just really grown into such a distinguished gentleman. You really have. I'm so proud of you. Everybody be so proud of Miles Davis. He's the ultimate guard dog, and now he's a love bug too, and he's just listening to all of his commands. You're being a very good boy, Master. And he loves when we have company and we go to the dog park. You could tell he's like showing the other dogs around and being like the alpha and the guard dog. The guard, the, he'll go and like he herds them. He's just a good boy, Master. Yoko pool. Today a dog ran up to me when I opened my door and pff, Miles was there within a split second between us. Like, yep, my human. You're a good boy. The ultimate guard dog. Yes. Oh, and you are just a princess buttercup. How'd you both get up here? So I stopped myself from half-assing the project and just doing what I know. I'm like, okay, get out of your comfort zone. Build out what you always wanted to do. Go beyond, above and beyond. Press the limits. Press the limits. You don't, <laughs> I'm that person that fucked up like how you say things. Is it press the limits? No, that makes no sense. Defy the limits, the limitations. <laughs> Let's go inside you guys, go start a fire. steak and apples by the fire. Craven steak and apples. <laughs> Oftentimes I forget that there's people out there that care. 
and I get wrapped up in, you know, what's going to be the next thing that somebody wants to click on and watch. And I forget that, no, sometimes people just want to click on a video of mine because they legitimately just care. They want to see me doing good. They want to see me thriving. They want to see my dogs. They just love and care. Honestly, why it was so important for me to get a video up today was because I reached out to Renee. Renee, yeah, another really in incredibly good person that I have pushed away. My downfalls. So I reached out to Renee and I let her know that I, I missed her and Merry Christmas. And she let me know that she missed me and so does my army. I forget that you've been here for the journey and you've fallen in love with the process and I think a lot of you you know who I am thankfully thank you for seeing the who I truly am and you've fallen in love with my dogs and you just want to see me happy and healthy and I forget that so thank you for Renee for just like reminding me of that upload Morgan let your army know that you're doing good because they fucking care thank you thank you for caring you guys I love you Merry Christmas <laughs>